Second, uh, don't try portmanteaus. Please don't. Uh, often parents try a portmanteau of the name of the father and the mother. And sometimes they get meaningless results. Sometimes they get horrible results. For example, and I'm not making this up. There is a name called Krishiv. Somebody came up with a combination of Krishna and Shiva and make it, made it Krishiv with different spellings. And name websites claim it means Lord Krishna and Lord Shiva combined. It is a meaningless name. There is no such word in Sanskrit. Still probably okay. The next example is, well, uh, I don't know what to say. This was shared by Professor uh, K.S. Kannan on the Bharati Vidwat Parishad mailing list a few uh, months ago from his real life. And he came across a person who was named Vandhya. And Professor Kannan actually asked, is it Vandhya? Because Vandhya is a Sanskrit word which means somebody who is deserving uh, worship or uh, respect. Vandhya. Van Vanditum Yogya Vandhya. You know, we say Vande Mataram. So, Somebody who deserves Vandana is Vandya or Vandya if it's a female. So he asked, is it, is it Vandya or Vandya? And she confirmed, no, it is the Mahaprana sound. It is Vandya. And Vandya, as you know, means a, a childless woman in Sanskrit. Now, why would somebody want to give such a name to uh, a person? Uh, and it was a portmanteau of her parents' names who were, who were Vandana and Sandhya. So, uh, well, uh, this actually happened. Uh, and if you do want a portmanteau, if, if you know, if somebody in your family, family does want a portmanteau, then consult a scholar. It's not very difficult to find. Uh, I'll give you an ex recent examples. Uh, a couple named Ashish and Ankita came to me recently and they said, we want a name which is a portmanteau of the two sounds. It's a combination. It can, can it have both names, both parents' names. And I suggested, one of the options I suggested was Ashrita. So I added an R, Ankita, ITA from Ankita, ASH from Ashish, and put an R in between. And I made it Ashrita, which is a Sanskrit word, which means somebody who has taken shelter or somebody uh, in whom people take shelter. 